Hey, welcome back. Now let's look into the algorithm of KNN. How does the KNN algorithm works in the backend perspective? So first of all, the first thing that uh, we need to do is select the number of neighbors that we need. Okay, so what I mean by this is, let's say we have this. Okay, so we have data points, maybe uh, some data points over here. And some data points over. Okay, these are the data points. And then uh, let's say I have a new point. Okay, this is my new point. Okay, I need to mention the number of neighbors that should uh, that needs to be compu uh, computed for uh, to help us to know which category it belongs to. So the red circle, red dots are for category one, let's say, and the blue one are for category two. Okay. What I mean by uh, the number of K is if we choose uh, five points, okay, we have a new data point again, okay, and we need to put it on the required category. Okay. First of all, uh, if we choose the K value is equal to five. So what it will do is it will take the first nearest five points. Okay. So the nearest five point might be this, 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 and maybe this. Okay. So uh, these are the five points that it will consider that uh, should be helping me to predict out at which category it belongs to. Then uh, after selecting the value of K5, we have to find the equilibrium distance between the number of neighbors. K number of neighbors. So we have to find the distance between the neighbors. Okay. What's the distance between this, 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 this. For this, to find the distance between two points, we use the equilibrium distance, but there are many more distance functions. We will discuss about distance functions much uh, later in the next video, probably. So as of now, just know about equilibrium distance. And if you don't know about them, that's completely fine. We will discuss about equilibrium distance in our next video. Equilibrium distance is used to find the distance between two points. Okay, we are going to find the distance between two points by calculating the distance we get the nearest neighbors. Okay, by knowing the distance, okay, equilibrium distance between the points, we get to know which are the five points that are nearest to my uh, neighbors. Okay, to my uh, new data point, to this data point. Okay, these are the five points. So take the k nearest neighbor as per the calculated equilibrium distance so these are the five points that i will be taking out why because these are the nearest uh, neighbors to this new data point according to the equilibrium distance okay next is among these k neighbors count the number of data points in each category so we can say that for so we have uh, one two three so we have three red points and two blue points okay these are the five points as you can see these are the blue point this is the blue point this is the blue point that is nearest uh, to the neighbor and these are the red points this one this one and this one okay now that i have counted out the number of uh, red points so i have three red points and two blue points i can say that the new data point belongs to the category for which the number of neighbors are maximum so for uh, which one is our number of neighbors maximum? So it is for the red one. So our new point belongs to the red category and that's the completion of our KNN model. So I will assign my new, so this point as the red area. Okay, it belongs to the red point. Let's look into uh, one more example. What we are going to do is we are going to create a graph okay, somewhere in over here. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to keep a data point in the middle. And again, I'm going to create some red points. Okay, this, 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 this. Okay. And then I am going to create some purple points. This. This, this, this. Okay. 
the black point just remember that the black point is the one that is a new data point okay now if i put k equals to 3 okay for this one so i need the three nearest data points okay so the three nearest data points might be uh, this one okay and this one and this one okay so as of k equals to 3 uh, we can say that my new data point that is the black data point belongs to the red category right but if you put k equals to uh, let's say 6 okay if you put k equals to 6 then uh, we can say this, this or k let's say k equals to 5 okay k equals to 5 then we can say that it belongs to the purple category purple category so you can see that the uh, defining the number of uh, neighbors is a really crucial point now we will also discuss some ways by which we can just get the ampliable number of k it should be but this is how the knn algorithm works in our next video we are going to learn about the difference uh, different distance functions okay let's catch up in our next video